My book just arrived from the printers. I just wanted to say a thing or two about the cover. I have always really loved the graphic design of the cover of Zen and the Art of Archery, this old paperback I have. And I wanted to evoke it in my book. I ended up feeling <laughs> a little ambivalent about it because Eugen Harrigal, after studying Zen archery in Japan in the 20s, went back to Germany and became a Nazi. Uh, but I still love this drawing, and he didn't make the drawing. So the pose, the yoga pose that I'm doing on the cover is called the archer. Um, and I'm going to show you what that really looks like in Mr. Ayengar's Light on Yoga. This is the copy I bought when I was 29. I didn't have any money, so I bought a copy whose spine was already broken. And now look. And when I made this drawing of myself in the pose, I didn't actually do the pose. So I thought it might be interesting to see if I actually can. Sit on the floor with the legs stretched straight in front. Hold the left big toe between the left thumb and the index and middle fingers. Similarly, hold the right big toe. Exhale, bend the right elbow and lift the right foot up by bending the knee. Take a breath. Now exhale and pull the right foot up until the heel is close to the ear. Okay, so this is a bit of artistic license. Um, but I do want to say one more thing about the cover, which is that it's a combination of, of black and white and color. The, the figure is in black and white done with a brush, done in this sumie, sort of faux sumie style, and the, the equipment is in pen and ink with full color. So this is my first book in full color. Um, I didn't actually do the color. My partner Holly pitched in at the last minute to um, make that happen. But as you can see, there are occasional moments in the book that are not in color, but are in black and white. And that's that's sort of a nod to um, these two registers of reality that I talk about a little bit in the book, the sharp-edged everyday one and the more numinous kind of reality that we only glimpse occasionally.